come on. And people keep saying, this is what we asked for. This is not what we asked for. We did not ask for this. I hate football, I hate VAR. What, what, what is the point? What is the point? I agree. <laughs> We're here again. Um, before I get in to the obvious and VAR, I just want to quickly talk about the game. Because it wasn't just VAR where we didn't win last night. On the way up to the game, it was reported that Man City are now banned from the Champions League for two years. This was our live reaction at the time in the car. Some breaking news. What was it? Man City are banned from the Champions League. So if Wolves come fifth, we're in the Champions League, Sam? Yes. We are in the Champions League if yes. we come fifth. Yes. But Harry, uh, can you believe it? But Harry will be in the Champions League when we win the Europa, uh, Europa League anyway. Yes, yeah, so it don't matter. Breaking news. Yeah, so that means now that fifth place is up for grabs for the Champions League. So I was pretty much buzzing for this game, thinking three points is huge, especially now. Anyway, the game itself, the team come out. I was quite shocked at the team that Matinho and Traore were on the bench, but Nuno had his reasons. And first half, Leicester had a lot of the ball. They, they kept the ball well, passed it about well, but they didn't really create much. We were like hitting them on the break. We had a few good chances. I mean, on another day, Jimenez... Could have had a couple throughout the game, let's be honest. He had a few good chances with his head, which he should have scored. So, disappointing for that. I think even Nuno said himself in the post-match post press conference that he's just unhappy with our finishing. Although, we did score, but we'll get on to that in a minute. So, yeah, uh, fairly decent performance. It's just annoying, isn't it, that we didn't win? Um, all right, let's just get on to it. So, what I'll do now, I'll show you some clips of our reaction to it it was me matt and sam and uh, this is our reaction straight after the var decision happened get in bolly son yes lads come on <laughs> one nil bolly get in lads excitement over guess what var's rolled it out Boring! A millimetre of a Nat's whip again. Mm. It's 1-0-0. It should be 1-0. Sam, it should be 1-0. What are you thinking? Harry, I hate football. I hate VAR. Everything was wrong. It was a perfect goal. When you take three minutes to make a decision, it's not clear and obvious. Yeah. We can't make it more clear than that. It's another Nat's whip of a knob, wasn't it? Matt, what are we saying? So I'm, I'm genuinely after that. The goal went in, turned to my brother, got, went to celebrate with him, and I thought, no, let's wait for VAR. He's it's got just, to that point, hasn't it? Mate, football has given me so many memories, so many good times, and, and, and reasons to get on with things, but those those reasons and those good times slowly fade away. I keep absolutely killing it. I, I, I'm just, I am losing interest, mate. Yeah. I, I really am, because it's, it's just rubbish. It's yeah. not a sport anymore, it's a science. And yeah. I'm not here, I've not paid £450 for my season ticket for it to be the narrowest to margins. If that, if that was Leicester's goal and it goes against us, fair, fair enough. I'm not asked. Mm. But when it's that narrow a margin, it's just rubbish. 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 It's just it's just getting boring talking about it, to be honest. I'm seriously considering not renewing my season ticket next year. Not because of Wolves. I love Wolves. But it's just the f it's just football. Um, I don't know what they're doing. It's killing the passion. It's killing the atmosphere. Um, I've missed the days of going absolutely tits and falling over the seat in front of me celebrating a goal. Because now it's just not happening. Because as Matt said in that clip, you're looking around at your mate and you're like... Is there going to be a VAR check this time? They need to scrap it or change it dramatically. I mean, who was it? Jota or Neto was offside? I don't even know at this point. For one, they were running backwards. His foot was in the air. I mean, I know offside is offside, but come on. Come on. And people keep saying, this is what we asked for. This is not what we asked for. We did not ask for this. We asked for less controversy on obvious bad decisions. It's, this is not what we want with VAR. So people who come with that argument, just get in the bin. It's stupid. Oh. Just have the referee have a screen on the side of the pitch and if players appeal, 
because it's clear and obvious. He runs over at the screen and has a look and makes a decision in 10 seconds. We're not sitting there waiting for over a minute, up to three minutes sometimes. Even when you watch a replay back yourself, you don't know. Anyway, I'm leaving this video there. Um, I'm not sure what I'm, if I'm going to continue doing Wolves videos, to be honest, because I don't enjoy it anymore. It's as simple as that. I don't enjoy going to football. It's become a chore, not a pleasure, because of VAR. You can sound being over dramatic, but that's how I feel. I'm going to start going to more boxing shows and things like that, I think. Um, see you all in Espanol, I guess. That'll probably be the next time I do a video, unless I cheer up over the next week. Please like and subscribe, I guess. And I'll catch you all next video.